Hi guys, welcome back to the BMW Guy channel and today we're doing a bit of maintenance on the One Series. Um, so we've got a replacement part that we're going to be fitting um, under the bonnet. It's a really quick and easy job and that is the crank casing breather pipe. Um, so I was just under the engine bay the other day and noticed a lot of muck and oil as you can see coming out of here. Um, it's spreading all onto there and found that it was actually this, or this not this part, this is the knee part, but um, this pipe here. Um, and what it does is it sort of feeds out of the crankcase and down into the air intake, etc., um, into the turbo. And what happens is, is it basically takes the gases from the crankcase. Um, so this would be oil vapor, etc. Hence why I've got this horrible oily mess. Um, so what we're going to do to stop it sort of leaking and wrecking the engine bay, um, and also sort of stop us losing so much oil. Um, is to remove this and put in the new one. So it's going to be a nice, easy little step-by-step -step video of how to do it, basically. So yeah. So first step, what we need to do is we need to take off this engine cover. Now I'm going to try and do it one-handed. Um, and it's essentially, you just got to pull and there's a, like a little socket that it pops into. A ball and socket. And just there we go, and that just comes away. As you can see, we now have the entire engine exposed. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, there's quite a lot of crap leaking out of this. Now I just have been running the car, so it is a bit warm, but um, it's only a brief, quick run. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands in here. Probably should have put some gloves on, because this is going to be a very messy job. It sort of welded itself on. Excellent. We'll try this bottom bit first. Okay, so we're just going to pull the two tabs here. Oh, and you can hear how bad condition this is because it's actually just crunching in my hand. Um, and now we're going to, again, two tabs either side. I'm just going to try and prise this off. Mind you, look at the state of my hands already. Um, Now this, the reason I'm struggling may be because it is in such poor condition that um, it's falling apart inside and this is obviously quite a common issue on these M47 engines. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get it out and um, come back to you guys in a second. Okay guys, so here we are, here's the removed part um, and as you can see it's in a pretty sorry state. Um, we've got a big build up of, um, trying to get some light, obviously I can't do this two handed, um, big build up of sort of exhaust crud um, and all stuff like that essentially yeah what this is doing is removing the worst parts from the crankcase so hence why it's so covered in crap so this new part will probably be welcomed by the car um, because as you can see we've got some sludge and stuff building up in there so I'm just going to go through with this sort of clean up around the area sorts of sludge and stuff even on this just listed little bit here um, so I'm going to clean off this this part by the way if you're wondering is the EGR valve um, if you're looking to remove the EGR valve um, which technically is illegal but um, quite a few people do it, it does boost performance etc um, then there is a kit sold by Darkside Developments uh, which is meant to be quite good um, so what we're going to do now so before we get off topic too much is just put this part on um, I'm just going to check it to make sure it is sort of the same and you can see we've got these rubber grommets on this one so I may I don't think I'll need to bother but I might just try and um, see if I can get those off and put them on the new parts but uh, yeah so let's just give it a go by dropping it in as you can see we've got a an indent so you place the lower part in here like this it should just clip in nicely however as with all these things it's not going well so bear with me guys and I'll come back to you in a second okay guys so I managed to clip this in and um, what I've done is I've got two hands and just got one either side on these tabs here and pushed it in like that um, so this bit should be nice and easy now that should just clip on like that 
and that is the entire job done. As you can see, we've got a nice shiny pipe instead of this completely wrecked one here. So um, this is a very common issue on these cars. They do go. Um, so if you've got an N47 engine car, whether it's a 1 Series, 3 Series or 5 Series, yours will probably need replacing. Um, and that's what's causing this black oily mess in around your engine bay here. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll stick the link to the part um, it's an eBay link down in the description. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.